So, so basically just, uh, I'm, so I work here up in Buckhead and, um, basically just yesterday I went, my, uh, my boss and I were going to get lunch at Chipotle and, uh, parked the car and jumped out and just saw wild on the ground, uh, uh, you know, ran into the first store and Charles, oh, so I opened up the wallet and, you know, just to see if there was an ID and anything in there, anybody's name. And, uh, <laughs> you kind of see it. And uh, I'm like, well, I, I know that guy. And it, Charles Barkley and so for a split second I didn't know if it was somebody had a, a prank ID or something but uh you know so his credit cards were in there all had his name on them and um so I went into the Chipotle and hoping he was in there so thought we might meet him and he wasn't but I asked the folks that worked there and they said he had been in earlier uh so we just kind of you know had our lunch and uh I actually know a uh a friend of mine works down at Turner Sports so I was able to get in touch with him uh, just let him know I had the wallet and uh, Chuck, Sir Charles, you know, said uh, if I could go drop it off at the Four Seasons where he worked or where he lives at the, at the residences, um, you know, he would give me a call and quote unquote hook me up. We didn't know what that meant uh, at the time. So did that, just took it down there, you know, dropped it off with security at uh, Four Seasons and, um, you know, gave him my number and didn't hear from uh from Charles until I guess tip off of the Hawks game so I kind of you know I'd watch the pregame um I didn't know if he'd say something or not but I uh, thought it crossed my mind but uh right as the Hawks tipped off I had a missed call from the from a Phoenix number so um I called it back didn't get him his voicemail was full but it was funny to hear you know this is Charles on the voicemail um and then ended up texting him he texted me back and you know he's super nice uh, said he couldn't thank me enough. Um, you know, asked me for my address and my shoe size. So I think I might have some, some sneakers or, or something coming my way, but then, you know, so then in the halftime of the jazz Clippers game, which, uh, you know, I, I like the NBA playoffs a lot. I'm not religious about it, but you know, it was kind of a blowout. The Clippers were winning, but, uh, you know, Shaq and, and Ernie and uh, the Jet, all of them are hysterical along with Charles. And uh, so I tuned in for that halftime show. And at the very end of it, Charles's last thing, he just, he said, I want to give a shout out to a guy named Matt Piles who brought my wallet back and is a Georgia Bulldog. Uh, you know, and they started talking about people still carrying wallets or not, which is funny because I'm in the, uh, the electronic payments business anyway. So it's, uh, I thought everybody still carried a wallet, but that was just funny, funny in and of itself. But uh, yeah, we, we ended up texting a little bit back and forth. He's a super nice guy. You know, our Hawks won and came back and had a big win there. So hopefully a little good karma, good juju. And, uh, you know, hopefully make a new friend in Sir Charles. Uh, he said he wanted to meet up sometime and thank me in person. So hope hope that'll get to happen. No, I mean, it's, you know, I know a lot of people watch it. It's been crazy just, you know, even from the moment kind of he said it. I started getting some inbound, like, holy crap, you know, is he talking about you? Is he talking about somebody, you know? Um, and then all my friends this morning, I've had tons of texts and, uh, you know, folks calling me and, uh, you know, everybody loves Sir Charles and uh, it's a good story. You know, Buckhead's had a little, little too much crime lately. So hopefully a little something good happening. And, uh, you know, I'd like to think everybody would do that, but, you know, it was, uh, found a buddy's wallet had to get it back to him so it was glad i was able to do it it really wasn't that tough to you know drive it down to midtown and um charles is the man so right. it, I, I'm glad he doesn't have to go get new credit cards and a new id and everything right. no nah, i mean you know i'm not uh, i don't want to i'm not a not a humble bragger or anything but really it's just, you know i it's, you, you look down and i'm like I, it's like oh i know that guy it's kind of like you found your buddy's wallet or something you obviously you know i'm not gonna take uh take the couple hundred bucks that were in there for myself or just uh you know or the the black amex even though that's what i was like okay this probably is charles barkley's wallet you know with the black amex but uh nah yeah i didn't even think about it it was just how do we uh how do we get in touch with tnt and i got a good lifelong buddy that works down there in their sports department and uh you know it actually it it wasn't that tough it was a couple phone calls and then the text is you know him asking me to drop it off and so uh, it was late in the uh, work day. And like I said, I'd been with my, uh, with my boss for lunch. So uh, he said, go on down there and get it back to Chuck. So we did. And uh, you know, like I said, I like, hopefully I played my part and we're good. Juju, we can keep the Hawks rolling, uh, you know, into game six. So 
Uh, yeah. Well, game five first, but game six coming back to Atlanta, at least we're guaranteed to see another one. So it's fun. Well, hopefully there'll be, you know, like I said, more positive, uh, positive stuff happening around town and, you know, get the word out on that. So it's not all bad every day, you know. Well, I told him, I, I told him I'd love to meet him. We can go to Chipotle. I, I might I mean, ask him if he wants to go play some golf or, uh, you know, I'm terrible at basketball, but he'll probably beat me, but we'll go play some hoops if he wants to, whatever. Yeah, yeah I grew up here. I, I'm a native uh, Atlantan and uh, grew up right, you know, I'm, I'm working in Buckhead right now and grew up down the street and went to Georgia, as Charles said, because when I texted him, I had to throw in the, uh, you know, the obligatory go dogs since he's an Auburn guy. Right. Um, so it was fun. It was fun that he uh, made sure to reiterate that I was a Georgia Bulldog on the air because uh, cer I certainly am. How old are you? Uh, I'm 39. So yeah, I'm 39, native Atlanta and live in Atlanta. I went to UGA and uh, like I said, I'm uh, in the electronic payments business, a company called Repay. I'm sitting here in our conference room. And, um, and do you uh, carry a wallet? I do. I thought everybody did. You that's, know, mine, do, mine doesn't have a zip. Mine doesn't have a zipper, but uh, but yeah, 